What's up everyone, Manbun Metalhead here. If you've been using the Line 6 G70 or G75 guitar wireless systems, you might have been experiencing quite a few dropouts. Now I'm going to show you one way to hopefully avoid a lot of those dropouts. Now the G70 is my favorite guitar wireless system. However, it does uh, have a few problems here and there like dropouts and, and you might have experienced those as well. So I'm gonna show you one way of hopefully preventing those dropouts from happening. Now one quick plug before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so so you don't miss out on all this guitar tech awesomeness. Now to do this, we're gonna use the scan function which is built into the latest firmware of the G70. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Line 6 G70, make sure to check out my review. So the function that we're gonna use here is the scan function built into the G70, and I'll show you how to get to that. So first thing you wanna do is make sure your transmitter pack is off and go into the scene that you wanna set, hit edit, go down to the channel. You wanna click in on the channel there, and you're gonna scroll all the way to the right, as far as you can go, to scan. So we'll hit scan. Now what scanning is going to do is scan all of the 16 channels and see which ones have interference and which ones might be the cleanest to use. So you see right here we have a whole bunch of bars available. Um, it is good to note that the highest bars are the bars you want to stay away from. So you want something with less bars. Um, so I'm looking here, maybe channel three, four, five. Uh, it, it takes a sample every few seconds and kind of determines what might be best. Now more than likely, I'm seeing a lot of activity uh, up here in the nine through 16 area because I am using wireless for my video cameras. I'm also really close to my wireless router. It's only probably about 10 feet away. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says channel four here, and that is suggesting that channel four is the best option. Uh, now it is totally up to you to choose what you want. Uh, if you want to stick with channel four, all you have to do is press this button in and hit okay, or you can go back and select whichever channel you want, but this gives you a good visual representation of what channels uh, might give you issues and what might not. So I'll go ahead and hit okay, and it'll set the scene to channel four. After we do that, we simply take our transmitter pack, we turn it on, open it up and set that to channel four. And then we're good to go. Now before you run the scan function, you wanna make sure uh, that hopefully all of your other wireless signals that are being used are going to be on. So if your vocalist, your other guitarists, bassist, whomever is going to be using a wireless system to make sure to turn that on, especially if it's a digital wireless. A lot of microphone wireless and guitar wireless systems are going to be on that digital Band, so you want to make sure that all of those are on, have their channel selected before you go ahead and select yours. Now, of course, if your other guitarist is also using a G70 or G75, um, one of you go ahead and run that scan function and then have the other guitarist run the scan function while the other transmitter pack is on. So I'll show you how that works. So I actually use two transmitter packs uh, for two different guitars, so it's just easier for me to switch between the guitars. So I already set my first transmitter pack, so I'm gonna leave that on right now, and then go ahead and set up my other transmitter pack. So I'll go back to the home screen and then select the scene that I wanna use uh, for this transmitter pack. Go to edit, again, go to the channel, go to scan, we're gonna scan, and let us do its magic. And we'll see, once it pops up with all of the channels, we can see that channel four has an X there. That means channel four is currently active um, with another transmitter pack. So we can see there we don't want to select four. So this one is now looking at 16. We hit okay. We're happy with that. We turn our belt pack on, open it up, and then go up to 16. And now we're connected, we're good to go. So that is it, that is using the scan function on the G70, works the exact same way with the G75. So if you have either of those wireless systems, this is a good way to make sure you reduce your amount of interference. And you know, if you're going to get dropouts, if you're getting more dropouts after you've done the scan function, do it again, see if something could have changed. You know, 
Uh, phones can mess it up. Uh, other guitar wire systems, especially if they're not Line 6, or some of the other Line 6 products might also interfere with those. So give it a shot. Try to um, use it again. Hopefully, hopefully that helps you out. I know dropouts can be super frustrating. I have experienced them before and they are no fun. Well, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me a like down there below. And if you want to hear more about what I'm working on, like more wireless systems, some comparisons I'm going to do in the future, please subscribe to my channel below. Hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I have a new video come out. But hey, until next time, rock on.